What's good, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Little Sasa Core, the one who never knows best. And in today's video, we have some brand new Bleach Rebirth of Souls gameplay. As you can see, I'm here right now for the premiere of the video. Uh, it's 10 in the morning right now. I've had a very long night and a very long morning, honestly. And uh, I'm very tired and a little bit somber. We're not going to get into it right now. If my energy is a little bit low, forgive me. We'll get into it at another point. But I did want to make sure that I got this video up for you guys. So in about four seconds, three, two, one. Your gameplay. Let's get it. Go ahead. Show me what we working with. I did see that there was like a small brief, like 10 second trailer that was circling around on Twitter and that I saw on YouTube that was maybe worth commenting on, but not worth making a video on. Anyway, want to fight. this should be more in depth and Do more interesting than what we've gotten so far. Or do you want to live? Obviously, it's already been established, but visually, this looks incredible for its own sake is meaningless. Survival in itself is meaningless. Ooh. I want to win. Wielding swords that personify their soul. Soul Reapers now jump into battle. I won't let <laughs> no one, not anyone. It looks so clean, so bro. Let's go. Okay, so we saw a screenshot going around on Twitter of the UI and I thought it was fake, but no, it was legit. It looks good. It looks solid. Are you ready? After damaging your opponent, unleash your key combo and destroy several of your opponent's kompaku. Also, the announcer's actually like breaking down the game. Hey, hey, y'all. I'm I'm not trying to get too gassed. I'm not trying to get too hyped, but I'm not gonna lie. It looks pretty promising. You can also activate reverse action while attacking and defending. Turn the tide off. As far as arena fighters go, as far as arena fighters go, it looks pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. I know there are some people who are just disappointed that it's an arena fighter and they'll just never have any sort of like faith or enjoyment from that genre. Sinbon Sakura. In the midst of battle, accumulated power brings you to an awakened state. Unleashing your true power will overwhelm your opponent. Senken, Sinbon Sakura, Kageyoshi. Kageyoshi. You've reached your limit. Ichigo Kurosaki. Show me some more. Show me some more. Talk to me. Talk to me. I'm not done yet. One, Kai. <laughs> this is my bunkai. Oh, the tunes is gonna go dumb. Over. All I can do is to take all of my spiritual. I really want to see what like the movement of the game looks like outside of when you're actually attacking, because that's gonna be a big factor into how the game feels and flows and and what how I feel about it. I, I, I think I touched on this in one of the recent videos, but I feel like one of the biggest factors, like when it comes to these anime fighters, and like what sets them apart, oftentimes is the movement. And I think that's one of the reasons why I like the Storm games and Hinokami Chronicles. Oh, don't tell me that's it. What? Feels so much. Oh, he looks so cool. Oh, for a second, I thought our release date was going to pop up. Oh, man. Oh, man. It, it, okay, hold on. Run it back. Is, is, is that it? Okay, yeah, that was it. Okay, let's 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 go ahead and run that back. Um, one of the reasons why I feel like the Storm games and the Hinokami Chronicles games, which are obviously made by the same people, feel so much better than most other games, uh, most of the Storm games, is because of the movement. And uh, we touched on it before about how this is being made by the people who made like Senna Kagura, um, not the people who actually made Melty Blood Type Lumina. That's French bread. Um, but uh, I don't know. I I I, I got to look back and see if there's any. Any points that kind of show like what just moving around the arena is actually like because that matters a lot to me personally i will say the actual tax and everything look decently fluid looks looks solid doesn't look like overly stiff or like like wonky with hitboxes and everything like that i'm not like blown away by what i just seen but i am not not I, satisfied not not a strong enough word but I, I i do like what i saw i definitely like what i saw we all run it back 
I do like the UI, by the way. Matter of fact, now obviously, since we've already let it play through, once we can pause and talk a little bit about it, there was a screenshot going around on Twitter where somebody had the UI. Um, where it was a screenshot of maybe like this scene in particular, maybe not this exact, obviously frame, but um, and I didn't think it was legit because of the pictures that were used on the health bars. I was like, oh, this looks like somebody made this with like screenshots from the um. From the trailer because to me while it looked good i didn't think it looks bad i don't think this looks bad at all i was like would they really use just like those poses like those frames from the trailer because because that's kind of what it looked like right and i guess that is actually what they're going for it's not like amazing but it's, it's not bad i've definitely seen way worse i mean hell uh, it looks better than guilty gear strives ui and guilty gear strives ui is, a, is an upgrade from what it was in the beta because that was terrible this is just this will suffice i'm not mad at this but we have a ratio gauge we have meters and stuff down here and the announcer if we listen closely is actually breaking down what everything does. So I want to pay a little bit more attention to what he's saying here as this is going on. Utilize each character's unique Zunken Soki action to cut down your opponent's Reishi. Cutting down one gauge of Reishi decreases your opponent's Kompaku. Are you ready? After damaging your opponent, unleash your Kikon move and destroy several of your opponent's Kompaku. So it's looking like that instead of a traditional health bar, each player starts off with nine kompaku, which you decrease by depleting their reishi gauge and then attacking. Cutting down one gauge of reishi. Which I'm not the biggest fan of, if I'm honest. I would just prefer just to have standard health bars. I think this is kind of like overly convoluted or complicated for of, of a system than what we probably need or want for this kind of game. Um. It essentially is, I guess, the same as having a health bar in some in some capacity, but like we we could have done without the Kompaku thing and the, the Reishi gauge could have just been a health bar and we probably would have been better off. Uh, obviously, there are certain things I'm not going to judge too much before I get my chance to play the game for myself or, you know, before the game releases, but eh, I don't really think we needed, we needed all that. Just my two cents off first impressions, though. After damaging your opponent, unleash your key combo and destroy several of your opponent's Kompaku. Destroy all nine of your opponent's Kompaku and win the game. Yeah, too easy. What? Yeah, on, your back again. Of your opponent's Kompaku. Again, trying to just trying to look at like these animations. Destroy all nine of your opponent's Kompaku and win the game. Yeah, too easy. What? Did you really think you could defeat? Actual attacks do look really, really Using nice. Spiritual power accumulated while attacking. Unleash a special spiritual pressure move. You can also activate reverse action. Unleash I'm looking at it. The um. Pressure. So if we look very close to here, when like Ichigo like tech rolls after he gets hit, it looks a little like a little floaty, a little bouncy. Let me just go ahead and put it. I don't want to slow it down too much because then you don't get the real feel for it. But like right here. It's kind of like the way he tech rolled does it look a little off to me. Like, I'm, I'm really looking into this because I, I really want to get an idea of how this game is going to feel and how it's going to move around and stuff. Sorry, hold on. What's the announcer saying now? What did you really think you could defeat me? Using the spiritual power accumulated while attacking, unleash a special spiritual pressure move. Okay, so this, these gauge down here is your spiritual pressure or your meter. You use this to use your special moves like Getsuka Tensho or you know, send bones Akura. You can also activate reverse action while attacking and defending. Turn the tide of battle with well timed combos. Yeah. So I'm looking. Turn the tide of battle with well timed combos. Now that I look at them, it's kind of weird, like how they're moving on top of the stage. And when defending. you really look at it, though, because they're kind of like floating above the stage as opposed to like actually standing on it and like when you see just look, kind of look at their feet as it's like moving and realize that they're not really like standing the on the stage well you, you, you see what i mean i don't know if i'm like if you really understand like where i'm coming from but they're kind of like not actually on the ground i don't know if that's because they're actually not on the ground for real like in in that moment or what but so this is all you can do scatter send bone sakura ah! Shall I explain to you the full extent of the difference between you and me? Bankai, Senbon Sakura, Kageyoshi. Also, I don't remember Byakuya's voice sounding like this, but maybe I watched Bleach in Japanese back when I when I watched it like originally. And obviously, the Thousand Year Blood War, I've been watching it in Japanese, but I could have sworn like I, I could have sworn Byakuya had more bass to his voice. Maybe that's just the Japanese dub. 
in the midst of battle, accumulating. Well, it, I've, no, it has to be because I say Senbon Zakura Kageyoshi. So like, I, that, yeah, that's. <laughs> power brings you to an awakened state. Unleashing your true power will overwhelm your opponent. Senke, Senbon Zakura Kageyoshi. Oh, wait, no, he said it in English too, but he definitely pronounced it different from what I remember it being pronounced like. I was like, is that a different voice actor altogether? But no, I'm just used to the, the Japanese though. Brings you to an awakened state. Oh, so this is the fighting spirit gauge here. So this is. Unleashing your true power will overwhelm your opponent. Got it. Senke, Senbon Sakura Kageyoshi. No. You've reached your limit. Ichigo Kurosaki. Who reached their limit? I'm not done yet. Bun Kai! Ten Sazangetsu. This is my bunkai. Cold. Right. Cold. Let's Cold. Just start over. All I can do is to take all of my spiritual pressure. I'm assuming that's a super when he's awakened. One big strike. After everything we've been through thus far, neither of us has very much strength left. Yeah. Let the next clash decide this battle. Are you ready? This might be a story mode battle, actually. Bleach. That probably was a story mode battle. That was probably the, the Bleach versus Yakia story mode fight. It looks good. It looks good. Obviously, it doesn't look perfect, Um, but I like what I'm seeing. S slight, slight cause for concern. I'm looking forward to more. Obviously, we have no release date for this yet, so any number of things can change, whether that comes to gameplay, story mode details, visually, the UI, just w whatever the case is. Um, obviously, when it comes to anime games right now, my expectations are kind of always tempered because in the past five to 10 years, most anime games have been subpar to bad with a couple of outliers. Like there've been a couple of good ones, one or two that I didn't enjoy, but you guys might like, like Kakarot, I'm not a fan of that game. I was actually surprised by how many people were defending it when I mentioned that before. Power to you, it, I, it wasn't for me if you enjoyed it for sure. Um, but obviously the anime game like bar is in hell. So this already off rip looks a lot better to me than a game like Jujutsu Kaisen Curse Clash or a Jump Force or like a One Piece Burning Blood or what other games came out recently. You know what I'm saying? This, this already looks better than those uh, just from an animation standpoint. And I don't just mean visually, I mean like the actual attack and everything like that, but visually as well. Um, I, I like what I'm seeing so far. I, the, 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 the Kompaku system thing is like, I could do without, like I think just regular health bars would have been fine, but it's essentially the same thing, I guess. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing more. I'm looking forward to seeing more. Like I said, we have no release date, so we have no no uh, timetable for when this game is gonna come out and how much could change but between then and now. But so far, so good, man. I, uh, I want to see more. I want to see more. But what I like so far, I'm a fan of. This scene right here, though, like, I just, yeah, it just seems really weird with how they're like. You can also activate reverse action while attacking and defending. Turn the tide of battle with Walton combos. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I don't know if this is like something weird about the trailer or if that's just how the actual game is going to be because the other scenes didn't seem like that. Like when they were fighting here, it didn't look or feel the same way where he's kind of like moving, not with the state. You know, you know, in the midst of battle, accumulated power brings you to an awakened state. Unleashing your true power will open. Yeah, see, in these scenes, they actually feel like they're standing on the ground, whereas before they don't. And maybe it's because they were slightly floating in the air before. Because I think we saw a, a scene here where it did look like Byakuya like recovered and then was in the air and not actually on the ground like almost like a budokai type type thing which obviously we know bleach characters can do that i wouldn't have expected that from this game i would have expected it just all be grounded based combat but maybe it won't be maybe there will be some sort of aerial combat or you could just be you know slightly off the ground or whatever um, let's see if i can find the scene i was talking about yeah i think even just there they were actually in the air each character. Let me slow it down. I didn't expect to like go like in depth, like breaking this down and analyzing it, but I care a lot about this. Yeah, they they actually are floating there. Yeah. Okay. Was well, this just him back dashing or like getting getting blown back? He's definitely above the air. Oh wait, you can even see right. Is that was that what it's supposed to be like the reishi? 
because because I, I, I i'm not a bleach expert so forgive me but I, I think the way they like stand in the air like float or flies that they're standing on reishi or something like that um and i think that's what they're showcasing here with those little blue sparks and glows and footprints and stuff is them yeah no this is actual aerial combat i didn't realize it before but they actually are in the air here okay so yeah bring it back just a little bit on your opponent's reishi cutting down one gauge of reishi decreases your you know, they're actually just in the air there. Okay, so that would explain the weird kind of movement I saw before. Like if they're just actually off the ground. That actually eases me that actually eases my mind quite a lot. Destroy Kikambu. Destroy See if there's anything else that I'm missing here. All nine of your opponents Kumpaku and win the game. What? Did you really think you could defeat me? Using the spiritual power accumulated while attacking, unleash a special spiritual pressure move. You can also activate reverse action while attacking and defending. Turn so I wonder how high in the air you can get and how frequent that becomes part of the game. And if it's like something that you can like control, kind of like a Tenkaichi where you can choose to like lift off the ground and, and also descend, like you can ascend and descend or if like it only happens when you get knocked back. Cause like, is it gonna be more like a Budokai where like you can't really control going up, you like you get knocked into the air and then you can come back down or you, you an attack brings you down? Or is it more like a Tenkaichi where you can ascend and descend at will? I don't know. Battle with well -time combos. Yeah. So this is all you can do. Scatter, send bone Sakura. Ah! Shall I explain to you the full extent of the difference between you and me? Bankai, Senbon Sakura, Kageyoshi. In the midst of battle, accumulated power brings you to an awakened state. Unleashing your true power will overwhelm your opponent. Senke, Senbon Sakura, Kageyoshi. Looks promising, man. It looks, it looks promising. I, I, like, I like it. I like it. I don't think this will be... I don't know if this will live up to like the caliber of what I consider the Storm series to be, but I think it has potential. I, like I made a video before talking about the potential that it has, and there's another Senran Kagura game that I kind of want to try out that has combat that's probably more similar to what this is going to be. I just don't know if I want to spend the money on that game right now. Bankai combat looks fire. I'm, I'm not going to lie. Yeah, it's straight this looks kind of heat. I ain't even going to gas it up too much, but you know what I'm saying? It, 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 it looks pretty convincing to me. I think this is probably going to be a game that gets my money regardless for the content, if nothing else. But, uh... Yeah, yeah. We in there. We in there, boys and girls. We definitely in there. Uh, but yeah, that's me making a nearly 20 minute video out of a three minute trailer. I didn't I didn't expect it to end up like that, but I just I, I really wanted to get into the nitty gritty of what I could by looking at that. But um, yeah, man, that's Bleach Rebirth of Souls. You guys let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Hit this video with a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. So you can stay tuned for all this content up on bringing you. With all of being said, it's pretty much off today. Remember, nothing can happen to you. Swing the bat. Later.